Hi, hi. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good hi. evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Vamos a ver. Hey, today, right? Let's see, Abner Adoni. I hear, teacher. Okay, Alexa Marcela. Alexa. No, here, Alexa. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Andrei. Angie, Melissa. Presente. Arely Isabel. Arely. Erling. Irma Noemi. No here, Irma. Carla Milena. Present teacher. María. María. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nancy. Present. Oscar Humberto. Oscar Oscar. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. William Giovanni. William, William. Ok. ¿Alguien más se conectó después de que lo llamé? Yo, teacher. Ana Luis. Ok. Sí. Yo también, teacher María. Buenas noches. Ok. Hello, María. Hello, teacher. María y su familia. Okay. Anybody else? <coughs> no more, no more. Estamos. Estamos, estamos completos. Ok. Well, today is eight, right? Eight. June is running, so we're getting very soon to the end of the month, right? Today, uh, we are going to use another model. Remember, we are uh, talking about models, right? In this, in this uh, course and in this unit in particular. And today, the the one that we are using is wood. I'm sharing the screen so you see. Uh, how to use wood and would like to. That's what we are going to be talking about. And you'll see how um, it is very different to use wood only and to use wood too, or would like to. Okay. The...
The objective is participants will be able to offer solutions to a client that has had a problem with a product from their company. Okay? Participants will be able to offer solutions to a client that has had a problem with a product from their company. That's the objective, right? I have a couple of questions here as we are going to be using wood. We're going to be talking about imaginary situations, right? Imaginary situations <clears throat> are things that we use when we talk about a, we don't know, right? So it is not real. It is not a real situation. So, you have, what would you do if someone tried to rob you? What would you do? What would you do if someone tried to rob you? What would you do if you saw a ghost, right? What would you do if you saw an UFO? Yeah, what would you do? What would you do if you found money in the street? So if you see, we use the beginning, the beginning of the question. This will be the one for every, for all the questions. And you say, what would you do if you saw an injured person in the street? What would you do if you got very sick at work? What would you do if you lost your wallet? What would you do if someone stole your cell phone? As I said, those are... Um, okay. No, that's okay. Thank you. Okay, um, what would you do if you lost your wallet? Remember, we're talking about uh, an imaginary situation so it's not real right we can call it imaginary or hypothetical situation what would you do if you saw a ghost if i saw a ghost i would run away what would you do if you saw a ghost Mm -hmm. What would you do? If I saw a ghost, that's how you're going to answer to this question. If I saw, let me let me add a, a space to write the answer. So you say if I saw a ghost. Giving a complete answer, right? If I saw a ghost, I will run away. <laughs> I wouldn't stay there, I will run away. If I saw a ghost, I will run away. What would you do if you saw a ghost? Hmm? Anybody? If I saw a ghost, I will scream. You will run too? Yeah? Scream. Scream. Run. Correct? Gritar. Gritar. Oh, you will scream. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I will scream. This is the part that we will get Okay. Better green. 
is green. Okay, if I saw a ghost, I will scream, okay? I will shout, I will scream. What would you do if you saw an UFO? Do you know what is UFO? An identifying flying, an identified flying object. What would you do if you saw an UFO? If I saw an UFO, I would... I would hide. Well, I would rat too. So, right? What about you? What would you do if you saw an UFO? Hmm? What would you do? Would you stay there looking at the UFO? Would you run? What would you do? Uh huh, Nancy. What would you do if you saw an UFO? Mm, I don't understand and what it is UFO. <laughs> you will tell me. If I saw, aquí le vamos a cambiar en vez de ghost, vamos a decir an UFO, right? If I saw an UFO, I would, y aquí agregamos lo que usted haría. Vamos a poner este pedacito de otro color. Vaya, if I saw a ghost, I would run away. If I saw an UFO, I would, probably I would scream, right? What would you do if you saw an UFO? Un UFO es un, un extraterrestre. What would you do? Mm, okay. If I saw a UFO, I would run away. You would run away too. I oh, know, definitely. <laughs> you wouldn't stay there to wait for the UFO. Okay. If you found money in the street, Sylvia, what would you do? If you found money in the street, what would you do? Eh, Aquí vamos. Viendo que es como si no tiene dinero en la carretera, no. Si encontrara. Ajá. Ah, si encontrara. Si encontrara dinero. Me va a decir, if I found, vamos a sustituir este mundo por este. If I found money in the street, aquí ya no te veo bien. Todo esto, ¿verdad? If I found money in the street, I would, y ahí qué es lo que harían. If I found money in the street, what would you do? ¿Qué haría justo en ese momento? Sí, ¿qué haría con el dinero? O sea, si se encontrara dinero en la calle, ¿qué haría? Pues. Si no veo a, na a nadie, <risa> digo yo, bueno, es mi día de suerte. Ok, so if I, if I found money in the street, I would... Pick up. Keep it, ok. If I saw money, if I found money in the street, I would keep it. Nice. Pues sí. Yo creo que es lo que haría todo. If you saw an injured person in the street, Ursula, what would you do? If you saw an injured person in the street, injured es una persona golpeada, herida, lastimada. If you saw an injured person in the street, what would you do? If I saw... Um, injured person. An injured person in the street. I would call. I will call um, the ambulance. An ambulance. Okay. Very An good. Ambulance. Excellent. Let's see, Carla Milena. If you got very sick at work, what would you do?
if you got very sick at work, what would you do? Um, I would, no sé cómo decir, drink medicine. <laughs> I would drink medicine, okay. I, I would take medicine, okay. Would you go to the doctor? Yes, and I go to the doctor. Okay, nice, nice. If you lost your wallet, Erling, what would you do? If I lost my my wallet, I would be very sad. Okay. And yeah, and I think uh, very angry because uh, in my wallet, uh, my wallet has my your my do my documents my target my credit card and a lot of things the same okay and that's difficult and expensive to replace everything right yeah okay. mauricio if someone stole your cell phone what would you do i would has this has um, help me cell phone. You will ask him to give it back. Yes. Okay. You will ask him to give it back. Okay. Good. No. So you see, in different situations. We do different things, right? Now, adapting this to your company, check. What would you do for the customer if the product your company offer is not in good condition? What would you do? Check the options I have for you. I would change it. I would give the money back. I would offer a bound, I would offer a discount. I would give something extra. I would give a special discount for the next shopping. I will replace the product and give an extra thing. I will say the bill is on me in case it is food, right? I will say the bill is on me. That means I pay it. You don't have to pay anything. I wouldn't charge it. Igual, no le cobraría. So what would you do? What of these options do you like? What would you do for the customer if a product you offer is not in good condition? Mm -hmm. What would you do? Vamos a ver quién nos... Can I participate? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Sorry, I'm vending the phone. Yes, Okay, uh, in my opinion, uh, that is depend with the with the job, uh, ah. with my because <clears throat> if they approve, uh, approve, approve. Uh -huh. um, yeah, uh, the. <laughs> Sorry. It depends the, the thing that they approve. For for example, uh, I would like to to refund the 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 money, but if my boss uh, told me you can't, I can't. Mm -hmm. I think it depends the company that you are working, and depending on the product too. Yeah, and depending on the product. Okay, the politics and the product. Okay, okay, thank you. Angie, what would you do? Uh, I would offer a refund. You would offer this a refund. Okay, what about you, what I say? No, Arely, ya le cambié el nombre. Arely, what would you do?
Adeline Sabel, hello. Adeline, Adeline. Mm -hmm. Teacher, in my opinion, uh -huh. uh, if if I have a problem with the product in the company, uh, first I need to talk to my boss, and then I think I need to go with the in the company uh, and give it then some option if they can accept to change the product or okay. we can will give them the money. You would back give the money. money back. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because in some cases, the company say that first they will check if the, if the product can be fixed, right, or can be repaired. And if that is not possible, then they will give the money back or change yes. another similar thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, look at this. Here, we have a product, right? This is a, a refound form. So it's not that easy, right? I give you the money back. So you, there is a process. So there are some things that we have to complete when there is a, a, a refund, when a refund is done. Well, it depends on the company, of course, right? But here you have a, a refund form. You have the sender's name and address. Waterlux Inc., Travers Inc., 23, Glenway, San Carlos, CA 0570. A note, please note, Waterlux customer satisfaction warranty is 90 days from date of purchase. Two, retain a copy of your records and close the original with the merchandise. Number three. Sure, sorry. E yeah. What what what's the mean merchandise? Merchandise. Yes. Eh, la mercancía. Mercancía. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. La mercancía. Merchandise. Yeah. When it says retain a copy of your records and close the original with the merchandise, significa que va a agregar en closes como agregar, verdad? El original, la factura original. Con bueno, la sí. mercancía, ajá, okay. exacto. Porque quiere un refund, ¿verdad? Nombre 3, use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. All items returned will require the original order number recorded on the form. So credit can be processed. So you see. Here. This is the, the details, right, that you have to complete. First, the reason called DPP means dissatisfaction, right, D for dissatisfaction, and PP for product performance, right? And then you have the item number. This is uh, the item number that you have. The quantity is six. If they are six products of the same type, they can be in that line. But if you have, for example, another product, because all the merchandise was damaged to say something, but they were of different call, you have to put them in a different line, right? According to the instructions. So quantity six, the date of purchase, uh, we're going to change the time because now we are in 2000, 2023, right? So we go to 11 well, November 23rd, 2023. And you have the order of purchase, 34, 45, 55, 47, and some other relevant information that a relevant information will be like the problem why the person is, re is receiving a refund. And here, the situation why the person is receiving a refund is because the product is missing parts, right? It is missing parts, so it's not complete. And if my product is not complete, I will not be able to use it. That's why I'm sending back 
Yeah, I'm sending it back and I'm going to receive my response. Any questions about this form? Mm -hmm. No question. No? No, teacher, everything is clear. I look at the questions here now. Uh, remember, you can go to your manual to check this exercise. This is in the manual, right? Check the refund form to answer the question. And you have, what are the reasons the customer wants a refund? And then would the customer get the refund? Why or why not? Okay, so you go to the manual. I'm going to tell you what page it is. You need to Okay, but I found the page. That's page 25 in your manual, right? You see page 25? There you can see the, the refound form and the questions. What are the reasons the customer wants a refund? Would the customer get the refund? And they say yes or no, and then you tell me why. Why why yes or why no? Okay, Andre. Uh huh. Check it there. Vamos a ver, Alexa Marcela, are you here? Yeah, yes, soy. Uh, Andre, yes, right. Andre, hello. Hi, hi. Hi, hi, hello. No, no. Okay. Arely, Isabel. Arely. Erling. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Eh, ajá, va, ok. Estoy checando atendas por los que no estaban cuando pasé asistencia al principio. Para ver si están ahora. Eh, eh, Irma Noel. Hi, teacher. Hola. Hi. Ah. Hi, hi. Irma, ¿verdad? No. Yes, teacher, present. Areli, se me había dormido usted. No, es que se me va mucho la señal y, y hace poco me bajé del bus. Ah, ok. Ajá, es por eso no lo escuchaba muy bien. Bye. Irma Noemi, hello, 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 hello. Present teacher. Ah, bye, bye, bye. Y Andrei. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel, Oscar, 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 no here today, William, William Giovanni, no, okay, okay, tell me, are you ready to check this? Ready, ready? Yes, ready. Okay. Um, what are the reasons the customer wants that refund? According to the form, 
Because it's missing. Uh -huh. well, uh -huh. It's missing parts, right? It's missing parts. It's not complete. Imagine. It's like if you get a cell phone without battery. It doesn't work. Would the customer get the refund? Hmm? What do you think? Ah, 2022 le vamos a poner, vean, porque si, si le ponemos 2023, como que es al futuro, va a cumplir. <laughs> ya he pasado. Ok, welcome to the past. Vaya. Ah, so, what do you think? Will the customer receive the refund? Yes or no, or why? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Nancy? Uh -huh. Can you explain me? O sea, es que no, no te estoy entendiendo. Es si que me acabé de conectar y no te estoy entendiendo de qué están hablando. ¿Podrías explicarme, ah, okay. porfa? Ok. We are talking about a refund and the situations when the, the customer can receive a refund for a product that has a problem. Like in this case, the product has missing parts. It's not complete. Right? It's missing some parts. So... There are some situations like politics of the of the company in which the person can ask for a refund. So it says, please note what it looks customer satisfaction warranty is 90 days from the date of the purchase. So if you buy something today, you count from now 90 days, right? Number two, retain a copy of your records and close the original with the merchandise. So you have to send the product back. Okay. And, and then the last one, use one line per item or quantities are to be reported in each space. All items returned will require the original order number. So the original number is this one, right, in this case. Um, that's recorded on the form. If not, the product cannot be processed, right? The credit cannot be processed. But in this case, the product was purchased on November 23rd, 2022. Okay. Right? So do you think, the question is, would the customer get a refund? What do you think? Uh, I think the the customer is is uh, asking the the reform because the product that he purchased mm -hmm. was broken and it hasn't uh, parts. Uh huh. Some parts are missing. The parts uh, were missing. Exactly. Some parts are missing. That's why he's asking for the for the refund. But do you think do you think that the customer will receive a refund? Yes, teacher. Um, because the product was not fully shipped. Shipped. Okay. 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 Do you think it was it was not sent directly to the customer? I think it can be 50-50 because the company can think uh, the customer lost the, the part. Mm -hmm. You know why uh, when you get something from, from China, there are some companies that uh, ask 
especially the teenagers, right? When they get discs of their famous singers. So they ask them to take a video. So they film while opening the product. So they, when there is a problem with the product, they can ask for a refund for the product that is in bad condition and they can prove, they have a proof because they were filming at the moment they were opening the, the box, we can say, or the package that they will see. So since they start opening the package, they are filming all the process. So when they finish opening and they check like, I can't, le falta esto, they can see it and everything is in the video. In that case, the company cannot say, you lost it, you broke it. They will see if the product was really in bad condition from the very beginning. Because what I see, uh, because of this, you see, because of this, I will say that this was a uh, chopping that was made online, right? It's not a chopping that you do in a store, but, but you asked for the product and it got to your home. And later on, when you open it, you notice that there are some problems with the product. But that's a way that the customer can protect himself by showing that he has probes on the phone that it was not complete when he received it, right? Mm -hmm. But check sure. this. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I think, uh, but the, the, this is the, the the way, but when you are, uh, uh, when you are purchasing something uh, to China, uh -huh. you need to do that. But I think there are a lot of people that they don't that know that those uh -huh. rules. Exactly. And, uh, they always lost the money. Yes, yes. That's why it is, uh, you have to play safe, right? And film while opening. Yeah, because it's very probable that you lose the money if you do not have a proof that says, yeah, the parts were not here, right? Because the company, of course, they will always say no, it's not complete. So what happened in the way you lost their, you lost them, so that's true. But I want you to see this. Pay attention to the date. Of course, we have changed the date because if you see, the book was a uh, had night in two thousand seventeen because that was the time that manual was done in two thousand sixteen. Yeah, this comes from two thousand sixteen, beginnings of two thousand seventeen, something like that. So that's why I changed the year, right? Because that was too, too far. According to the warranty that the company offers, that is 90 days. If I bought this product on November 23rd, 2022, will I receive a refund? No. No, right? Why not? No, teacher. Because the day of purchase is, is ya pasaron más de yeah, <laughs> más it's about día. seven months the ago, warranty, right? The warranty is finished. Exactly. The, the, the warranty, warranty is finished. Yeah, too much time has passed. And you know, that happens ooh, very often. Again, as you were saying before, people lose the money because they buy, sometimes they buy a product because they saw it and they say, well, no, I, I like it. One day I will use it. So they buy the product, they have it there. They never use it. And at the end, seven months pass. And when they come and check the product and try to use it, it doesn't work, right? So in that case, the warranty is lost because 
the time is more than 90 days. Okay? Very good. Now, let's move here. Remember, we're talking about wood today, wood and wood like to, right? Wood and wood like to. Check the, check the structure. It says, I would change. Remember what we were using at the beginning in the conditionals, and we're going to have more examples with that structure. What would you do if you saw a ghost? Remember, what would you do if a customer gets a product that is in bad condition? And then you say, well, I would change the product. What would you do if you buy something in a store, it is damaged, and they don't want to give you a refund? Oh, you we'll say, well, I will not buy it anymore, right? So that, that is conditional, and we're going to enter more in, in detail later on. But check the example. I would change this product. When you say I would change, that is cambiaría, right? Yo cambiaría. So el would is the ending iría. ¿Qué haría? What would you do? Yo cambiaría, right? Compraría. I would buy. He would buy that again. He compraría. But if it is negative, he wouldn't stay. El no estaría. Right? O no se quedaría. That's the, the, the ending iría in this case. When we're talking about would. And to the verb that you add the would, ese verbo va a tomar el sonido oría. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de una situación que no es real, right? Would you give me your information? Me daría, right? So that is ría. I would play. Yo jugaría. If you thought, if you thought you could, eh, Win the lottery, would you buy it? Yeah, I would buy it, right? Yo compraría. So that's aría. The would change. But remember, we use would. And as in all the other models that we have been studying these days, the verb is in the base form. Check the verb in the base form. No tu verdad, no puedo usar tu. So I use the verb in the base form, after. I would go, I would stay, I would eat, I would drink. Mm -hmm. That is would. Any question with would? No teacher. Bye. Teacher. And on the other side, we have. Yes, I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Tell me. What's uh, it? It means that when you are using the word, what the verb, with the with the verb, sorry, uh, uh, you don't use to uh, after to the verb. No. Okay. Always. Uh, sorry. Use when you are using like. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Ah, okay. Que ya es parte de la estructura. Would like to. Okay. Y el tú va más con el like que con el would. ¿Verdad? Entonces, you, you use would change. Would go. Would move. Would start. Would listen. I would eat. Pero okay. no le ponemos tú. Ni después del verbo, ni entre would y el verbo tampoco, ¿verdad? Ahora, cuando usamos el would like to, ya la estructura es would like to. Entonces, ahí sí. A mí me gustaría. So, check the difference. Here I will say, 
here I'm saying, I would change. Yo cambiaría el producto. Pero en el otro, I would like to change. Me gustaría cambiar el producto. Right? Lo que me lleva a la terminación gría sería el like. Ya el otro verbo ya no. I would like to change this product. He would like to buy it again. Solo cambia el, el primer, solo afecta, perdón, el would uh, al primer verbo. Exactly, exactly. Ya el otro segundo, verbo ya, queda... Ya va en infinitivo. Exactly. Y el otro verbo queda normal. De, decimos, I would like to change. I would like to change this product. He would like to buy. Y siempre este verbo, el segundo, va a ir en forma base. ¿Verdad? Este verbo va en forma base. I would like to change. I would like to buy. I would like to come. Porque acuérdense que el tú es parte de esta estructura. ¿Verdad? I would you like to get a refund? Would you like to eat something? En este caso, yo ocupo el would like, no como un condicional, no como una situación hipotética y no real, sino que lo ocupo para ofrecer. Por ejemplo, si usted va a un restaurante, usted dice, would you like something to drink? Would you like to eat something? Would you like to sit here? Right? This, would you like to? Le gustaría? It, it is for to be polite. It's very polite. Exactly. This is more to be polite. Este. Y este es para hablar de hypothetical situation. Situaciones no reales. Este es real. Es real. Son dos contextos completamente diferentes. And here we're going to see uh, some more examples. Check. If I had the money, I would buy a better product. Esta es una situación hipotética. If I had the money. Pero no la tengo, ¿verdad? No tengo el dinero. So... I will, I will buy a different product or a better product. If I had the money, I will buy a better product. If I have time, I will travel around the country. If you brought me the invoice, ¿saben qué es invoice? Esto. Factura. La factura, exactly. Factura. If you brought me the invoice, I will change your product. If you brought me the invoice, I will, I will change your product. Pero cuando usamos esta estructura con el verbo to be, aunque le parezca raro, ¿verdad? Ustedes saben que con el verbo to be con, con, Cambia con cada sujeto, ¿verdad? En el caso de una situación hipotética como esta, siempre voy a usar where. If I were you, if she were here, if he were at school, if they were here, if we were home. Entonces, siempre va a ser where. No importa si estoy usando I. Ya sabemos ¿Verdad? Porque ya hemos estudiado el verbo to be antes y sabemos que el verbo to be, yo digo I was, he was, she was, pero no cuando se trata de una situación hipotética. Cuando estoy hablando de una situación hipotética, siempre voy a usar where. If I were you, I would rest a little bit. If I were her, I would leave my hair longer. If I were at school, I would have to run after class. Yeah? So if I were. No digo if I was. Es probable que en alguna situación ustedes se encuentren eh, una oración que, que, que diga if I was. Así por la teacher no digo que se decía if I were. Sí. Porque nosotros estamos aprendiendo un idioma formal. ¿Verdad? 
Entonces, en determinado momento, usted puede ver que diga, if I was you, pero eso es en una forma informal, no correcta completamente, ¿verdad? Pero como estamos hablando un idioma formal y queremos también usarlo correctamente, vamos a decir, if I were you, if I were you, I would rest a little bit. If I were she, ¿sí? Siempre. If I were she, I would, I would travel more. Teacher. Ajá. Quiere decir de que es prácticamente casi igual como se usa en el español. Si fuera. Ajá, porque, eh, por ejemplo, si uno lo usa en español en, hipó en hipótesis, dice si Ajá. yo fuera. Sí. Si él fuera, si nosotros. Eh, Ajá. Sí. Y sí. en, en... Lo único que ahí cambia si nosotros Ajá. fuéramos, ¿verdad? Pero aquí siempre va a ser güero. Ajá, sí. Güero, y, güero, y, güero. Y, y en... Y si fuera al revés, pero fuera. If you were. Ajá, y si se usara el was, sería si yo fui. Mm. Ajá, entonces no se oye bien. Ajá. Exacto. Exacto. Ya entendí. Yeah. Va, vámonos. Now check. Remember what we were saying, right? These are the same sentences we saw before. Now, I would like to... I would like to, vamos a usar eh, las, las dos estructuras combinadas, ¿verdad? Las dos que estamos hablando acá. El likelihood, I would change the product, o el desire, I would like to change the product. Ok, I would like to, y vamos a completar las oraciones como nosotros. Ok, so you use your own ideas to complete it. I would like to drink a very cold glass of coca. I would like to sleep early tonight. ¿Qué le gustaría? Ya. Yeah? Would she like to be here tomorrow? She wouldn't like to. Okay. She wouldn't like to go to bed late. My father wouldn't. Ahí ustedes deciden si quieren usar would like o si quieren usar solamente would. Cualquiera de las dos formas pueden utilizar. Ok. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to complete. Ahorita solo este. Oye, no se me vayan a adelantar al otro. Ya vamos a hacer el otro. Ahorita solamente este. Y completamos las oraciones con nuestras propias ideas. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Any, any questions here? Mm -hmm. Teacher, desapareció la pantalla. Ay, es que las estoy copiando. Quizás por eso ah. se fue. Ya, ah, se okay. la, ya se las pego en, en el chat. Quizás por okay. eso se perdió. Se las quiero pegar en el chat de WhatsApp. Este es un bien loco. Y rápido le manda uno. Estás compartiendo. Quítate de ahí esa pantalla. Ella se las pego, solo que no le abierto el WhatsApp. Va. Okay. Se las pego en el, en el grupo. Oye. Vaya, tell me if you can see now. Can you see? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Y se la mandé al grupo de WhatsApp también, por cualquier cosa.
कोई पूर्णी बुद्धि ही तभी आओ नहीं तभी नहीं Let me know when you're ready. We finished the show. <laughs> okay, you would like to travel to to Peru. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. I would like to travel to Peru. Very good. A ver, somebody told me you finished. Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Vamos a ver. Uh, how did you complete the first one? Tengo un volunteer. Me a teacher. Okay, go ahead. I would like to buy my house. Okay, I would like to buy a house. Very good. Great, great. Mm -hmm. Anybody else for number two? Number In your yes or no. <laughs> okay, number three. What's number three? Would she? Would she? Would she what? It wouldn't be a president. She wouldn't be a president. Okay. Okay, okay. Nice. Another volunteer, Nancy Katia. You can choose. You can choose the one that you want to complete. Um, what number, teacher? Usted escoja la que le gusta en la que quiere. Okay. I would like I would like to sleep right now because I'm very tired. Yeah, 
that's a good feeling. Okay, thank you, thank you, Nancy. Angie? Uh, I would like to uh, make our phone. Mm -hmm. I would like to? Make our phone, okay. because it's the bad machine. Okay, okay, I would like to make a refund, nice. Aha, uh -huh. Maria Epifania. Hello, teacher. Choose the sentence that you want to complete. Okay, I would like to go to the beach. Okay. Yeah, me too. I would like to go to the beach. <laughs> okay. It's necessary. Yeah. yeah, let's go to the beach. Uh, let's see here in the five up for a key. Teacher, she wouldn't sell her car. She wouldn't sell her car. Yes. Yes, yes. You can say it. Let's see, Irma, choose one sentence. Mm -hmm. Irma, Irma. Adeline, mm -hmm. yes, Adeline. I would like to play in the park. Yeah, I would like to play in the park. Very good. Great, great. A ver, Alexa. Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, where does she work in this place? Okay, yeah, thank you. Marta? Marta, Marta. I would like to go to the beach. Okay, oh, I would like to. Vaya, Maria. Ahí está también. <laughs> we have two that would like to go to the beach. Okay, Mauricio. Okay, teacher. I would like to the travel to Peru. I would like to travel to Peru, okay. To the Machu Picchu. Yes, teacher. Okay. Vamos a ver. Andre. Tell me, teacher. Choose one of the sentences and complete it. Uh, okay. Uh, tengo... A ver. Mm, es que no estoy seguro si me quedo bien. Eh, my father wouldn't. Mm, ay, no. No, si no. <risa> dele, dele, dele. Yo le digo si está bien o no. Espérate, es que creo que me equivoco la palabra mal escrita. La voy a corroborar. My father wouldn't. Dame un segundo. Ok, sí. Uh, my father, uh, my father wouldn't hit uh, and my sister. Wouldn't hit with my sister. Ajá, uh -huh. o, sea, okay. o sea, como no, no debería, mi padre no debería golpear a mi hermana. I wouldn't hit. Ajá. Uh -huh. Wouldn't hit my sister. Wouldn't hit my sister. Okay. No golpearía a mi hermana. Okay, very good. Very good, very good. Very nice. Now, check this. You're going to write a five-line paragraph about what you would do in case a customer wants the refund due to a bad service or product he or she paid for. Okay? ¿Se acuerdan que yo les compartí unas oraciones hacia allá? Okay. Now, I'm going to give you um, unos ocho minutos, right? 
for you to write this part. Aquí sí pueden unir ideas y trabajar todo juntitos. Oye, y entre todos completar las cinco líneas. Todos los, todos los del grupo. ¿De acuerdo? Este no es individual. Este sí lo vamos a trabajar así todititos. El, lo del grupito chiquito juntos. I'm going to send you and you can find in the manual page 26. Yeah. Page 26. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 But others will be groups of three. Oh, two groups of three. <laughs> Vaya, let's see. If you find yourself alone, yeah, call me. Okay? If you find yeah. yourself alone in the group because the others do not connect, call me. Let's okay. go. Go, go, go. Try to join. Nice, nice, nice. Room number three, Arely, Carla. Try to join. Nice, Arely. Room number four, Irma. Nice. Nice, nice. Ana Luisa, try to join. ¿Qué vamos a hacer usted? Eh, vamos a trabajar en una, como una lluvia de ideas, en uh -huh. las que nosotros coloquemos las razones, creo yo, quiero revisar bien, por las que un cliente nos solicite reembolso. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh, ese sería. Es que ejemplo, hay una, cinco uh -huh. líneas, hacer, describir de los casos. ¿Qué harías? ¿Qué harías? Si un cliente les pide reembolso, ¿qué harían? Eh, primero, eh, revisar el producto, porque en el caso de nosotros, antes de enviarle el producto al cliente, lo revisamos, se, se prepara en la bodega, se revisa, luego se le entrega al motorista... Y ya el motorista, ya de ahí que el motorista la lleva, responsabilidad de él de entregar el producto al cliente de como nosotros se lo entregamos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Igual, revisar el producto, a veces con clientes hasta le tomamos imágenes porque cambian el producto, tal vez lo compran a otro proveedor y dicen que nosotros lo hemos vendido y que el producto no funciona. Entonces ya empezamos nosotros a, a investigar y a ver las fotos del producto que nosotros enviamos. Y hacemos la comparación. Si es de nosotros, le hacemos el cambio. Y si no, le decimos, no, este producto no lo hemos enviado nosotros. Estas son las imágenes de lo que nosotros enviamos. Ok. Vaya. Uh -huh. Eso, nice. Now put it in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excelente. En, en mi caso, primero... Eh, se manda a revisar el equipo Ajá. y eh, se elabora un diagnóstico, ¿verdad? Y depende del diagnóstico que el técnico dé, así se procede o se procede a reparar o eh, si, digamos, sale muy caro la reparación o, o la falla que tiene el equipo es, es difícil, ¿verdad? es complicada, entonces se procede a hacer el cambio del equipo. Ok. Ok. Include all the ideas then. And put it into a paragraph expressing what you would do, right? To help the customer. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So for word and where they would. Sí. Ajá, y ahí es así. Uh -huh. Estoy escribiendo aquí en esta cosa que 
escribir lo que ella quiere. <ríe> Sería first we would ask. Yeah. Uh -huh. We the would ask for the, the customer inbox. for the invoice. Uh -huh. Primero nosotros preguntaríamos al cliente por la factura. Number two, guarantee. Second one. Check. Okay. Y después... Has guarantee. Indica en la... Ahí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, en ese caso, eh, si la persona se acerca para querer el reembolso, ¿qué haría? ¿Sustituir el producto? Siento yo que sería una buena... Ajá, no para sé. quedar con el cliente, sí. Ah, sí. Vale. Ahora, en inglés, hay que decirlo. Dale, no hay problema. Entonces, no sé si hacemos personajes como vendedor y comprador. No, porque para mí solo hablemos de ella, porque ah, sí. okay. bueno, okay. también va. Ajá. Bueno, decis ahí decidan ustedes. Ay. De cualquier manera. Eh, no? Sí, como ahí dice que solamente tengo que hacer, tenemos que hacer, eh, tenemos que hacer conversación. No, ahí dice cinco líneas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, no, <risa> o sea, un par, no importa. <risa> un párrafo oh, así. O un uh -huh. renglón, de cualquier manera. Sí, porque también podemos hacer un reembolso o le podemos decir, mire, le tenemos, eh, por ese error le podemos dar un descuento también. ¿no? No, por eso, hagamos cualquier, de cualquier error, es hacerlo. Así que podemos hacer, o sea, una conversación o un párrafo de seguido, como sea. Un párrafo. Eh... Un párrafo, okay. no los párrafos son, los, son los que piden, no, no pide conversación, son párrafos, nada más como opciones. ¿Qué podemos okay. hacer? Ajá. Bueno. Eh, pues, vamos a ver, creo yo que primero sería de verificar el producto, ¿no? Ok. Entonces, seríamos como, no sé, ella llegó a, o no sé, digamos, Milena o Areli llegó a reembolsar la plancha del caballo, ¿sí? Eh, sí, pero creo que tenemos que poner como, ¿qué haríamos nosotros en ese caso de que el cliente llegue? O sea, ya como dar la respuesta concisa de que qué vamos a hacer. Sí, pero... Yo creo que tenemos que explicar, o sea, de qué vamos a hablar, porque, o sea, si sí damos una respuesta, pero si la otra persona que nos está escuchando no sabe qué hablamos, porque eso lo sabemos no. nosotros. Sí, sí, entiendo. Vamos a ver. Eh... O sea, bueno. Es que se puede hacer una conversación ahí rápido, o sea, no tiene que ser un párrafo de seguido. Creo que no le veo problema a eso. Ajá, porque primero, primero. Yo digo, primero me gustaría revisar el producto, si está bien. ¿no? 
No sé si pongamos eso la número uno. Ya, no hay problema. Ajá, está bien, me parece. Vamos a ver. Ok, vamos a hacer. Primero sería revisar el producto. Me gustaría primero revisar el producto, ajá. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Te vas a ir ya? ¿Te vas a ir? Eh, para revisar el producto, eh, podríamos ah, no. decir, first, eh, I review the product. Ok. No, sería, I would like to review to product or fear, algo así creo que se pronuncia. Para utilizar el del good, me gustaría. Uh -huh. Como van a igual, porque es uno. I would like to review, review the product of fear. First. Ajá, uh, fair. I would like. Vamos a ver. Ajá, first, I would like to review the product. Ajá. To review the product. Eh, and then. Ok, eh, por ejemplo, si ya revisamos, si revisamos el producto y el producto está mal, entonces ahí <coughs> se, vamos a decir, y después si el producto está dañado, ahí vamos a proceder, ¿no? Sí, porque ahí tenemos que darle las opciones al comprador, si le podemos devolver el dinero. O también le podemos hacer una garantía. Uh -huh. Como un ah, descuento. Son opciones ¿no? que daba hace rato, ¿verdad? Ajá, son opciones, porque ahí, como dices, son párrafos, o sea que tenemos que dar opciones. Ajá. Lo que haríamos nosotros, yo creo que eso sería. Hay varias opciones, digo yo. No sé qué te También hay otro que podríamos devolver el dinero. Mm, sí. Vamos a ver. Y ofrecer cliente para que realice una compra siempre con nosotros. Ajá, eso sería otra opción. También podemos agregarle, agregar, podemos darle un descuento. Vaya, pero quiero ver. Eh, bueno, yo estaba pensando en poner primero first. I would like to review the product and then if the product is si el producto está en mal estado podríamos poner mal mal estado o en mal calidad también pero ahí ten no tenemos que incluir el Google porque ahí tenemos que incluir el, el, el Google, si no me equivoco. Tiene que ir qué? relacionado. Me gustaría, tiene que... Oh, first, I would Ajá. like... O sea, primero Ajá. me gustaría explicar el producto. Y si Ajá. el producto está dañado, eh, ahí vamos a hacer lo de las opciones que le daríamos al cliente, ¿no? Ajá, porque siempre todo tiene que ir relacionado con el Google. Uh -huh, porque ahí mismo lo dice en la, en la oración que tiene que ir relacionado. Pero están las opciones, pero te digo que para mí sería, me gustaría devolver su dinero. También puede ser otra opción, pero que vaya relacionado con la misma, con la misma palabra. Pues. No sé qué piensan. André, ajá, porque yo sí la entiendo. Hello, André. Sí, aquí estoy. Mira, 
Yo les voy, a, les voy a ser sinceras. Yo siento que estamos dando vueltas y no estamos haciendo nada. Eh, yo, pues yo opté como por empezar a hacer una conversación para empezar a hacer, o sea, llegar a lo mismo que estamos haciendo. Les voy a leer lo que he hecho. Okay, Dice, estoy bien. hello, Milena, welcome, welcome back. Tell me, how can, how can I help you? Entonces, hi, Isabel, uh, I would like to change or refund my product because my hair straightener is bad condition. Oh, sorry, uh, show me your product. Uh, okay, here it is. Okay. Entonces, ahí estoy revisando el producto para ya sea reembolsárselo o cambiárselo. Porque es que siento que estamos dando vueltas y no estamos haciendo nada, la verdad. Eso sí. Entonces yo pues les decía, creo que es más fácil hacer una conversación porque al final es una conversación entre dos personas o tres, no sé. Ah. Hi, hi. Hello. Are you ready? Yes, I'm sure. I'm ready. Bye, bye. Coming back. A ver, how many seconds? 38 seconds, and everybody will be back. Nice, nice. Let's see who will be my first volunteer. Mm -hmm. Or we go for group number one. O podemos empezar por los que se quedaron aquí. ¿Verdad? Melquisede. <laughs> Uh -huh. Tell us. Well, uh, in my group, we we were talking about that. And the first thing that you need to do with the customer is to be polite with the client and because uh, for the issue mm -hmm. and to offer apologies for that. And after that, uh, we need to receive the the product and check what is the issue with that mm -hmm. then uh, uh, we need to send the product with the department uh, the maintenance for okay. that or uh -huh. or they 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 are going to check the the product and and answer what's and give the answer for the product if the product is broken if the product is available or something like that and then uh, we are uh, uh, give the the product to the customer uh, in perfect conditions mm -hmm. yeah uh, it could be the a new product or the the same product uh, repaired. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. Tell me, uh, Erling. Tell me one, two, three, or four. 
six. <laughs> no, uh, three. Number three, Andre, Arely, and Carla. Okay. Right. Hola. Go ahead, okay. your turn. Ok, eh, teacher, nosotros no alcanzamos a terminar, pero te vamos a, a leer eh, lo que hicimos. Ok, perfect. Uh -huh. Yo empiezo. Dale, dale, eh, si quieres uh -huh. dale a Arely, y luego continúa eh, a ver. Milena, Milena. Y termino yo. Ok. Hello, Milena. Welcome back. Still me, how can I hear you? Hi, uh, Arely. I would like to change or phone my product because my hair straightener is bad condition. Oh, sorry. Hear me, your product. Sí, continúa, Milena. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. Here is. Uh, sorry, Milena. You are correct. Your product is damaged. Would you like to change or reform your product? Um, yeah. Reform my product. It's okay. Ahí quedamos, teacher. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Now, Andre, give me a number, one, two, or four. Uh, four, teacher. Evelyn. Silvia. Ay, solita quedó Silvia, Evelyn. Silvia, Evelyn. Hello. Silvia, Silvia. Hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Bueno, 2 minus 2 is 2. Digo, 4 minus 2 is 2. Alexa, Ana, Luisa, Marta, Mauricio. Go ahead. Hola. Oh, your turn, chair. Ok. Ok, lo, lo, lo digo ya entonces. Yeah. And first... We would ask this customer for the gimbals. And second one, we would check if it has warranty. And finally, if the reform applies, uh, we should make the reform. Okay. Thank you, Alexa. Okay, Andre, give me number Nancy and Ursula, we're in there. The same room with Erling. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ay, Mer, pero Erling no estuvo en su grupo, si entró. ¿Cómo no? Si yeah. entró. Ah, yes. Yo lo había visto ahí afuera. Vaya, vaya. Estamos perdonados. Ah. No entró, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Cuando yo los fui a visitar no había entrado. No, cuando no, usted teacher? llegó, no, después entró, teacher. Ah, va. But sí. sometimes we, in my company, when we have this problem with some customer, first we talk with the manager of the company or, or the mechanic people and then I fix the problem and make some excuse for if the problem is for us we change the the product if not I just say sorry I cannot help you 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, of course, you will not change a product that you didn't sell, right? Yes. You can change or oh, do something with a product that you uh, sold. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, thank you. Now let's see. I'm sharing again. So where is okay. now I have a conversation for you. Check. Here is Miguel and Maria, right? Oh, we can change the names. Maria, 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 Maya, 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 que Miguel nos abandonó. Vamos a poner Pedro. And I will need a Pedro. Who wants to be Pedro? Juan Boy to be Pedro. Ok, Alex, I took it. Ajá, María will be María. María. Ok. Vamos a Pedro. Pedro. Okay. Ah, they say, Pedro, Maria, what would you like to eat? Oh. Anyway. Acha. Let's see. Go ahead. Okay. Maria, what would you like to eat? Uh, why? I'm going to make Lunch now. Why don't we go out? I feel like eating out today. Uh, where would you like to go? To go. I was thinking about Domino's. Maybe some ice cream later. Okay, let's take a shower. It's almost eleven o'clock. EM. Yeah, I will go first. I take a long time in the shower. Okay, but not this time. I like to eat early. Don't worry. I will take a shower in 20 minutes. Okay, come sorry. on. Go <laughs> ahead. Yeah, I will like to go to a park after eating. Fine, but worry up. Hurry I'm up. getting hungry, very up. Mm -hmm. Hurry up. I, am I am coming. Angry. <laughs> I am coming. I am coming. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I need two more volunteers to read. Me, teacher. Nancy. Me, teacher. Nancy, ¿verdad? ¿Quién dijo me? Yes, Nancy. Nancy. Okay, Hola. Nancy and Melquisedec. Melquisedec, your Pedro. And Nancy, you are Maria. <coughs> okay. Uh, Maria, what would you like to eat? Why? I'm going to make lunch now. Why? Why don't we go out? I feel like uh, eating out today. Where would you like to go? I was thinking about Domino's, maybe some ice cream later. Okay, let's take a shower. It's almost 11 a.m. Yeah, I'll go first. First, I take a long time in the shower. Okay, but not this time. I like to eat early. Don't worry, I'll take a shower in 20 minutes. Okay, come on, go ahead. Yeah, I'd like to go to the to a park after eating. Fine, but hurry up. I'm getting hungry. I'm coming, I'm coming. 
<laughs> okay, very, very good. You're hungry. You're in a hurry. Now, look at this. I have another exercise for you. Here, you're going to tell me, you know what? I'm cold. I like to put on a sweater. I'm hot. I would like to take a shower. I'm sleepy. I would like to go to bed early. So that you're going to use the situation here and then what you would like to do, right? Okay, let's see. My first volunteer will be... Hmm. <laughs> Ursula. Ursula, remember, you put the first one here. I'm, I'm, a, whatever the, the idea, right? I'm cold, I'm hot, I'm sad, I'm very busy. I like to, and what is in parentheses? Okay. You choose, you have 14 options, you choose the one you want. I'm very worried. I like to relax for a while. Okay, nice. What we are going to do is that the others cannot repeat. Mauricio? Okay. I am odd. I like to take a shower. Okay, yes. Um, Ana Luisa? I'm Ana Luisa, hello. No está Ana Luisa. Hola, teacher, sí. Uh... Ahí, you choose Ana Luisa. The one that you want to do. <laughs> Perdón, teacher, es que no me siento bien. Por eso me puse ahí de... Le ha llegado el flu. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry. Sí, es que cuando venía, no sé, me dio. Me puse mal de la gripe, como, como con temperatura. Ay, Dios, pues no es alergia, nada más. Pues ya tomé algo, teacher. Okay. Bueno, es que viene el fin de semana para descansar un poquito. Porque eso sí está, está triste que se pegue. Bueno, vamos a ver, la vamos a dejar tranquilita entonces. ¿no? Silvia. Yo. No. <ríe> y Silvia, así como que ya sabía yo. Vale. <ríe> Sí, okay. Él quiera, ¿verdad? Sí. I am sleep. sleepy. Sleepy. And number three? Yeah. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. I like to go to be early. Yeah. I would like to go to be early. early. Yes, I would like to go to bed early. Very good. Irma. I am I'm not lost. I like to take a taxi. Okay, nice, nice, Irma. Thank you, Andre. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a ver, a ver, a ver, cuál. Eh, eleven teacher. Uh -huh. I'm lost my cell phone. I'd like to report it. Okay, nice. Nice. Marta. I am very. I am very. Very good. I like to see a doctor. 
Okay. Let's see. Uh, can I can find okay. Angie. Angie, Angie. And what number is your? You decide. Okay. But don't okay. repeat. Las que ya están tachadas ya no. Okay. I come to work very late. I say with my, I talk with my boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's see, Carla Milena. Um, five teacher. Okay. I am very busy. I'd <laughs> like to. I am uh, very busy. Sorry, I am very busy. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask for help. Okay, very good. Yes. Adelie? Um, number 10. Okay. I'm very angry. I like to be alone for a moment. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nancy. Okay, number four. I said I like to chat with my best friend. Nice, nice, nice. And let's see, Maria. I like to eat something mm -hmm. and I miss it at test. I miss the test? Yes, teacher. I, I miss, miss the, the test. test. I would like to eat something. <laughs> okay, va, está bueno. Está bueno, está bueno que le deamos. Let's see. ¿Quién me falta acá? Los niños. ¿Verdad? Erling. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, I'm tired. I would like to rest for a while. Okay. Irma. You still have one and eight. Perdón, teacher, estaba en una llamada. Mm -hmm. Tell me a sentence. Irma, we're waiting. I'm called. I start call teacher. Oh, I'm. I am called. I mm -hmm. like to put on a sweater. A sweater. Uh -huh. I like to put on a sweater. Very good. And we will finish with Mauricio. No option, Mauricio. It's only one. One more time, teacher. Number eight. Okay. Good. I, I am all ah. three. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like to eat something. Yeah, I am hungry. I would like to eat something. Now, in the manual, you have some sentences. Let me tell you. I guess it's I guess it's page 20, yeah, page 26. Page 26 in Juman. Oh, 
complete their statements, right? Some of them are sentences and some others are questions. So you complete them and then we will check together. Mm -hmm. Remember that here you can use your own ideas, right? The number one, can I say, I would like to change this money? Okay. To change. Sería como cuando va a salir del país. Ajá, digamos, que va a salir del país. This morning. Quiere que exhales. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> like to change this number. Sí. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. What about number two? No, number. Ah, sí, number two. Mr. Trujillo. Number, number two, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't play soccer. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't play soccer. Ya está muy viejito. <laughs> okay, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't play soccer. Nice. Okay. Would she? Would she be mayor? Hmm? Would she? Will she be mayor? Alcalde, ¿cómo se dice? Alcalde, alcalde, mayor. A mayor. Mayor. She, yeah. Will she be mayor? Yeah, yeah. Mayor. Would she be mayor? Number four. Mm -hmm. With like this she wouldn't take a picture. She wouldn't take a picture. Okay. okay. She wouldn't take a picture. Uh -huh. We'd like to go out on Sunday. We'd like to go out on Sunday. <clears throat> on Sunday. And the last one. Would you like drink coffee? Would you like, like to drink coffee? 
See, I would like to drink coffee. Okay. Nadie más cafetero que los teachers y los oficinistas, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, would you like to drink coffee? Nice, nice. Now, repeat after me. I would like to change this money. I would like, I would like to, with change change to change this money. money. Okay. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't play so. Mr. Trujillo would not play so. Would she be a mayor? Would she be a mayor? A mayor le vamos a poner. A mayor. She siempre lleva antes de los jobs. Would she be a mayor? Would she be a mayor? Be a mayor? We'd like to go out on Sunday. We would like, like to go, go out on, 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 on Sunday. Sunday. She wouldn't take a picture. She, she wouldn't, wouldn't take, take a picture. picture. Would, you like would you like to drink coffee? Would you like to drink coffee? 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 Nice, nice. Any questions? No teacher. No question. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. Perfect. Now check. I have, this will be the last exercise for you. What you're going to do here is match. <laughs> match the exercise. Okay. You're going to match. I need money. And what sería la oración usando wood? O would like to, ¿qué haría el matching para esta? Eh, sí. No. ¿Mm? Sí. Sí. Pero sí. I would like to get a loan. I would like to get a loan. Ajá, exactly. Exactly. I would like to get money. I would like I would <laughs> I would like to get along. Okay, very good. Vamos a cambiar el color. Uh -huh. I have to cook. I would like some eggs sure. and vegetables. And vegetables. Okay. ¿Quién dijo teacher? Yeah. Me teacher. I have a oh. question. Tell me. In the letter C, eh, what's the mean loan? Long, long es un préstamo. Ah, okay. I would like to get a loan, un préstamo. Get a loan, ah, okay. Yeah. I need money. A loan. Vamos a ver, Mary needs a job. Teacher, eh, the last, he was to write a report. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, would he like you to explain to him? He has to write a report and she'd like to... No, no, he li he'd like you to explain. like to explain it to him. Uh-huh, yes. Okay. Is it correct? Yeah, it could be possible. Okay. <laughs> Number three, Mary needs a job. Mary needs a job. She would like some help. Mary needs a job. She would like to. To K. Uh, I think she likes to check the newspaper. I'd you like to check the newspaper? Si, si, si. Las páginas amarillas. Okay, Joanna has to do homework. Joanna has to do homework? We... We like to talk to teacher. 
I would like to. She would like some help. Uh, uh -huh. I would like. I would go more for that one. She would like some help. Yes. Okay. We have to stay up all night. We have to stay up all night. Pues vamos a la number five. Let's go to number six. They have the money. They have the money. Uh, they, they would like, like to buy, buy your, your house. house. They would like to buy your house. Uh -huh. Okay. They need the tickets. Yeah, they would like to see the concert. They would like to see the concert. Yes. We missed a test. We like to talk to the teacher. To the teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we would like to talk to the teacher. They were fired. Fire significa despedido. They were fired. They like their job back. Mm -hmm. They like their job back. She needs you. She'd like you to call her. Yo creo que podemos cambiar la number four. Oh, well, that's okay. You can say that. Uh, she needs you. She would like to call you, right? Yeah. She would like to call you. She or she would like you to call her. Um, he doesn't understand. Um. We can change number 12. Ya vieron. A ver. He doesn't understand. He would like, like, like you to explain. Uh -huh. He you would explain. like you to explain. He has to write a report. And the 12 one. He would like a computer. He would like a computer. Exactly. Y nos faltaba uno, ¿verdad? Why? Este lo voy a arrepentir por mi vida. El number five. Little F. Little F. Ah, number five. We have to stay up all night. They like some company. They like some company. Uh -huh. Va a quedar despierto acompañando a alguien. ¿Ok? What do you think? Is that easy? Yeah. We can. Yes. Nice. Easy. Nice. Easy. Mm -hmm. Baby, baby, baby. Ok. Nice. That's it for today, chicos. Thanks for being active and working hard. I'm really happy. Now let's go to the last attendance. Let's see. Abner. Abner Adon. 
Alexa. Present teacher. Ana Luisa. Present teacher. I hope you get better, Ana Luisa. Rest. Okay. Andre Parto. Present teacher. Great. Angie. Presente. Arely. Present teacher. Erlin. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Irma. Irma. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Maria. Present teacher. Marta. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel, ya no. Abandonado, Miguel. Nancy. I hear teacher. Oscar. No Oscar today. Sylvia Evelyn. Sylvia. Present teacher. <laughs> Should he say for Sylvia? Ursula. Present teacher. William. No William today. ¿Verdad? Okay. Hoy es ocho. Irma se queda conmigo. No. Nueve. El número de clases es esta. Sí, nueve, ¿verdad? Nueve, 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 nueve. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Qué barbarita. Menos mal que empezamos, sí. Number nine. Se queda conmigo Carla. Carla, mi linda. Ok. Ok, teacher. Bueno, see you tomorrow. Go see you tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow, Good night. Bye, teacher. See you. Bye. Bye. Para los que aún me deben plataforma y examencito, recuerden <laughs> que mañana es viernes. Oh, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Bye-bye. Yo soy al día. Eso, sí, ¿no? Si ayer estuve recogiendo notas, yo hey. no me quiero atrasar, yo tampoco. Entonces ya voy adelantando, los que ya lo hicieron, ya los recogí. Excellent. Good, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Take care. Hi, Carlo. How are you today? Yeah. Um, good. It's also very stressed. Ah, yeah. That's the, the job. <laughs> Part of the job. Are you studying at the university, Carlita? No. Eh, I graduate. Yeah. <laughs> Just to... Hey, that's fantastic. I I Thank saw you. you very young. I, I thought you were still studying at the university. <laughs> este año me gradué el mes pasado. Oh, wow. That's recent. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, tell me, do you have any questions about the topics we have been studying in class this week? Um, over. <clears throat> Quizás, Por ejemplo, con el, en, con el might, no me quedó muy claro que se diga. Uh -huh. vale. El might lo usamos cuando estamos hablando de possibility. Uh -huh. possibility. Si es algo, algo es posible, eh, que no estamos completamente seguros. ¿Verdad? Entonces decimos, I might... I might go to the movies tomorrow. Hay un 50% de posibilidad, pero hay un 50% de que no. O sea, tal vez, tal vez vaya, right? So you say, I might go to the movies or 
I may stay home. ¿Podría mm. ir al cine o podría quedarme en la casa? May and might, en ese caso, cuando vamos, hablamos de possibility, tienen el mismo significado. Ahí no hay diferencia. Cuando nosotros usamos eh, como permission, si no, ahí might no se puede ocupar, ¿verdad? Sino que solamente may. Pero cuando hablamos de possibility, may and might tienen el mismo significado. Ahí no hay diferencia. Entonces, puede usar cualquiera de los dos con el que se sienta más cómodo porque la posibilidad es la misma. Para Sería los. como que el might es como para algo incierto también en sí. Exacto, exacto. No, no se está seguro. Pueda mm. que pase, pueda que no. ¿Verdad? Entonces, okay. Se ocupa cualquiera de los dos. Se puede usar may o se puede usar might. El significado es el mismo. Para ok, mí. en cambio, eh, pero el may no lo puedo utilizar como para una frase donde algo es incierto, sino que solamente el may, ¿verdad? No, los dos. Los ah, dos. Lo... En ese caso, <risa> cuando hablamos de possibility, may y might eh, significan exactamente lo mismo. Ahí no hay diferencia entre los dos. ¿verdad? Los dos son para posibilidad. En la única diferencia es que might solo se puede usar para hablar de posibilidad pero may se puede ocupar también para pedir permiso. Como el quien. Como el quien. Ajá, puede decir, may I go out? May I open the door? Y si le tiene mucha confianza a la persona, puede usar el quien, ¿verdad? Can I open the door? Can I go out? Can I use your car? Si tiene mucha confianza, si no dice may. May I use the car? May I open the door? May I close the window? Pero puede usar el may para eso también, para pedir permiso, ¿verdad? Pero en el contexto de posibilidad, puede usar el may y el might. Y el might. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Pero el might solo existe para possibility. Ese no se puede utilizar en ningún otro contexto. A diferencia del may, ¿verdad? Que tiene uh -huh. otros usos. Uh -huh. mm, ya. Ya o sea sí. que... La mayoría ¿Sí? de los modas uh -huh. tienen más de un uso. Pero may solo tiene un. Might solo tiene un. Might. Uh -huh. De las possibilities. Uh -huh, exacto. Y si lo quiere usar en negativo, dice might not y may not. Ninguno de los dos se puede contratar. Um, Ahí se no tiene contraction. En cambio, el can sí tiene, ¿verdad? Can't. El can sí se puede usar. Ese no tiene, con, no tiene contraction. Y la diferencia que el can't en negativo, dependiendo del contexto que usted esté utilizando, si lo está usando como ability, I can swim, but I cannot dance, no hay problema. En uno dice que puede y en el otro que no puede, ¿verdad? Que tiene la como ability. Pero el can't como negativo también se puede usar para prohibition. Por ejemplo, cuando usted llega a la biblioteca y le dice, no puede comer aquí. You can't. It here. Right? You can't eat here. En ese caso, can't es prohibition. Mm. <coughs> okay. Pero si usted dice, I can't dance, entonces ese es lack of ability. Right? Okay. O si su mamá le dice, no, you can't go out. The prohibition. Sería prohibition. O no permission. Ok. ¿Verdad? Negativo prácticamente. Negativo. O sea, puede otorgar permiso o, o no dar permiso. Sí. Ajá, exacto. Con el que... negativo puede ser. No puede ser, no tiene permiso o está prohibido salir. ¿Vale? 
no okay. es posible, no, no, no lo puede hacer, es prohibido. Entonces, esos son los significados para, para Kent. Al cambiar, ¿verdad? Eh, cambia el significado, igual que con I have to. Usted dice, I have to wear a uniform. Tengo es que... obligation. Ok. Pero si usted, I don't have to wear a uniform, ahí ya no hay obligación. Se pierde la obligación. Ok, con el have obligación igual, ¿verdad? Ajá, y, y, eh, bueno. y lo negativo prácticamente. El negativo es no hay obligación, no es necesario, uh -huh. porque el have to se ocupa para expresar necesidad y obligación. Uh -huh. Entonces usted dice, you have to, you have to write a report, right? You have to write a report, but you don't have to answer the phone. Entonces, no es su obligación contestar el teléfono, pero sí escribir los reportes. El tú tienes que. Tiene Yo, que, pero no tiene que, ¿verdad? En el caso de un negativo, pero, pero en, no tiene que contestar el teléfono. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Es una preguntita más. Y en Mira. el caso de así como que, eh, por ejemplo se le dice a alguien, tú tienes que escribir los reportes, you have to, aparte de eso hay to, otra forma. You have, you have to write the reports. Mm -hmm. O you must write the reports. Pero el must mm -hmm. es como más fuerte. Es una obligación más fuerte. Ah, es como una imposición prácticamente. Ajá, exacto. You must write the reports. Ahí no hay tal de, de escaparse. Ah, ya. Esas son nuevas palabras que vamos a ir aprendiendo después. Sí. Pero... Sí, se puede usar otro también que es casi no se ocupa, el O2. You ought to, you ought to write the reports. El O2 mm -hmm. es O U G H T. O2. O O U O U G H T. Oh. Y aparte, tú. Mm -hmm. El O2. También es para obligación. Es un poco más, más débil que have to. Mm, uh -huh. Prácticamente como que have to es el que está en, en, en el, la línea de abajo, uh -huh. digamos. Exacto. Exacto. Uh -huh. Se ocupa para obligation. <coughs> okay. y, el, y el otro se ocupa más como para una recomendación. Un poquito fuerte, pero no tanto. ¿Verdad? Mm. Uh -huh. Quizás no, que, ah, por eso es que está en medio el have to, porque ajá. Ajá, la imposición va más con el most, de ahí el have y después el o oh to. ¿verdad? El o oh to, exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces, ya van así en, en niveles, ¿verdad? En niveles. Y hay uno más fuerte que el have, que el most, por ejemplo, el, el had better. Cuando usted le dice, you'd better que se ocupa con contraction, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Better comerle tomorrow. El por qué el hatu lleva una consecuencia. El otro no, solamente le dice, usted tiene que hacer su punto, ¿verdad? El must. Pero si le dice, you had better come early, you had better lleva una consecuencia. Que si no lo hace, pasa algo mal. Mm, ya de una sola vez en oración se lo dice. Exacto, ya no necesita decirle que te voy a despedir si no venís temprano, ¿sí? porque ya la consecuencia <risa> está como implícita al utilizar el hat. You'd better, ¿verdad? You'd better. O oh, you had better, si se ocupa. <risa> you have okay. better common. You have o have? Had. Have, have, have. Por eso es que la contraction es eh, yud apóstrofe de, con la apóstrofe de. Yud, oh. yud better. Yud. Mejor vení temprano. <ríe> ¿Verdad? Y ahí le lleva la consecuencia implícita. Eso sí. Ah, como cuando, como cuando decimos una oración y va como con ese sentido de amenaza. Sí, ajá. Algo pasa. O sea, si no lo hace, pasa esto. 
Mm, ya entendí. Lo podemos usar como según el tono con el que se va a decir también la oración. Exacto. Ah, no, no, ya Exacto. comprendo. Voy a tirar ya una amenaza de que si no se hace esto, pasa esto más. El no, a pesar de ser fuerte para obligation, a pesar de que es fuerte, no le lleva amenaza. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Solamente la orden. Pero ya este otro sí. Ya es mucho más serio. Ok. Sí, son bastantes combinaciones. <ríe> sí, no, si modas hay, hay varios. Y cada uh -huh. uno tiene su uso y, y a veces no solamente uno, como hemos estado viendo en estos días. Uh -huh. Comprendo. Tener más de uh -huh. eh, solo eso tendría de duda. Solo eso okay. tenía. Yeah. Vaya, Carlita, very good. Y ready for the exam, ¿verdad? Sí, tengo que completar la plataforma. <ríe> Está bien, tiene hasta mañana. Bueno, teacher, muchas gracias. Okay. Bueno, que pase buena noche. Muchas gracias, igual, feliz noche. Buenas noches, bye bye.